Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ajano. Welcome to episode 58 of Game Programming. So, today we're going to take a look at a few more sprites that we need to actually um, make our game to finish up the map. Because remember, um, this portion of the series, we're basically just going to take a look at making maps and, um, and getting that down. Alright? So, what I, one thing I did that I actually didn't show on camera, I guess, is I actually fixed up the Cherno the King Cherno sprite. So Andy Wall, the guy who made the original sprite, sent uh, another sprite to me because the first one wasn't uh, didn't really look nice when um, for the for the side walking on animations. I mean, so yeah, he fixed that up, and now it's now it's good. So I just basically changed the sprites. But um, the other thing is we need to make some more tiles because currently, if we go into tiles or tile rather into our tile class, you'll see that we've got like what friggin' three tiles. Because remember, void tile is just like a just in case tile. It's not really a we, we're not really going to use it. But um, we've got yeah, we've got three tiles here, and we need a lot more than that to make a nice looking game. So I asked you guys if you wanted to send in your sprite sheets um, and basically of textures that you've actually made, and then um, you know let me use them for the series. And I got a lot of textures from you guys, but um, I think the most comprehensive and the most complete and the most pretty looking textures were were by Jacob Blomquist. Blomquist. I hope I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But um, Blomquistador, Blom Blomquistador. Um, he sent uh, these textures in, so they look really nice. Um, and he said that he made them himself, so I'm gonna have to trust him on that. Um, but yeah, so we got some nice like water or even ice, whatever. Um, bunch of walls which is what I like uh, as well as like a bunch of different grass textures which is awesome and you know different stone and stuff like that which is nice I really like this texture pack this this it makes this grass look completely terrible so I'm probably gonna get gonna get rid of that grass but um we're definitely gonna put in these textures into our sprite sheet now and use them so over here um, so this is like the King Chono sprite that I replaced but in paint.net I've just opened up his stuff here as well and I'm just gonna copy and paste it into my sprite sheet and we're going to use that. So let's just grab all of this. Oh, and that's even transparent. That's very cool. Um, it's not really transparent, but it's low opacity, I guess. Um, so we're just going to put this probably right over here. Um, I might actually make several sprite shades in the future, but first I just want to get this down. So we can definitely get rid of. Um, let's just cut this, I guess, and like paste it here because we don't need that grass texture. And fix this up. There you go. Alright, awesome. So, first thing I want to do is probably start using this grass texture instead. In fact, all that we really need to do here is, um, if we just want to try out like a, a different um, sprite for grass, all we need to do is really just change the coordinates. So if I want to go from this grass to, let's just say, this one, which looks like a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, that 5, Zero, one, two, three, four. It's number four. Sorry, I'm working on very little sleep. Went to like, went to bed at like 4:30 a.m. last night because I was at a party. So um, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> but that's really okay. That's definitely not it. Um, did I save that? There we go. Um, so yeah, that was kind of nice. Let's try a different one. Um. Let's just try one more. You can really play around with that. You can see that the rock's kind of looking consistent, but that's fine. That looks nice. I like that. I like the view of that. Um, so, yeah. Um, I might get someone... I think I saw some rocks that you guys sent in as well, so I might do that later. I don't know if you guys want to see all this graphics work on like on screen in the series. If you do, um, let me know in a comment below. Um, if you don't want to see all this graphics stuff and you just want to only see code basically and you don't really want to see the, lev the levels or the or the textures I guess get designed and implemented um, drop a comment let me know what you guys think about that but um, I don't know I think it'd be awesome having um you know the entire game I guess being made in front of you guys instead of me basically being like oh yeah I've compiled several sprite shades now and they're ready to go but um yeah that's just my opinion so let me know what you guys prefer um, but yeah okay so now that we've got that covered um, we're going to make a, a bunch of <laughs> bunch of tiles. So, who basically, the way that I approach this is I'm a very organized young man. At least I try to be. And I especially try to be in, in my programming. 
There's some, something about organization and keeping code grouped and clean really appeals to me, which is why this is like the hierarchy of our thing here, which is why I really like to actually keep everything separate and everything fully organized because I don't know, it's just, it's just cool. It's just cool like that. So in textures, I'm going to make probably a folder called levels and I'll put the level in there in a minute. And I guess in levels though, we'd probably have might make it might make another one called sheets. This will be like sprite sheets. Um yeah, okay, cool. I'll definitely do that. So I'll put sprite sheet into there and level into levels. Alright. Looks good? Good. And obviously just before our game crashes for no apparent reason, we need to quickly fix the folder structure. So this obviously becomes in levels, right? So I've just moved it. Um and the actual sprite sheet, I think, was in here. So, levels, sprite sheet, awesome. Let's check if that runs. No, nope. okay, so we forgot to replace one thing. Uh, I'm not sure where it is, though. Actually, we could probably just debug it. That'd be easier. Um, so, it looks like it's the load for the sprite sheet. Oh, no, that should be... Where's path? Oh, okay. No, that should have worked. Oh, levels, sorry, my bad. Sheets, not levels. Terminate. Try that again. Awesome. Cool. So, um Yeah, so we'll call this one. I guess see I want I might I, I kinda wanna separate tiles per levels. So in other words, spawn level What what do we want our spawn level to look like? That's really interesting. Hmm. These are actually pretty high resolution, aren't they? Are these really 16 by 16? Yeah, they are. Huh. Almost looks like 32 by 32. They look really nice, though. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I guess what we want to do, let's just close that. Uh, I guess what we want to do is split it up, sort of. So, I might make a new sheet and the spawn level. Let's just take a look at what the spawn level is going to have. It's definitely going to have some grass, it's going to have some walls, it's going to have water, that's like three, maybe five-ish, maybe about six textures for, this, for the level for that. So six textures means basically if we have three by three, I might make room for nine textures actually. Should we do that? Um, yeah. Oops. Let's make room for nine textures. So, <coughs> again, effect. I don't actually have the grid plugin on this computer yet, so I'll just literally copy and paste some, some cells. Whoa. Okay. Um, whoops. So we'll have nine textures, uh, and I, I will simply um, grab the textures that I want from the sprite sheet and I guess technically I'll edit them out later. Um, but let's just say we want to use this grass. I love how there's different grass textures, that's awesome. This grass, we might... Maybe even this, this almost looks like a hedge, kind of like that. So we'll pop that in as well. Definitely use water. Not sure how I feel about transparent water, but I guess that's kind of cool, right? Um, we'll put that there. As for um, walls, definitely going to use these. So I'll pop them here. And I don't know, I mean, don't really need cracked ground. No, I think that's pretty good. Actually, if there was a floor, that almost looks like a floor, but I'm not a big fan of that. Hmm. Um, I might even use. I'm going to use mm, cracked floor. Do we want like a cracked floor? Or do we want like a... Um, I'm, I'm just going to make a floor out of this, I think. Like a wooden floor out of this. So this will be like our floor. So let's just edit that real quick. At the moment, they're kind of bricks, but um, we can change that pretty easily. So basically what I want to do is sort of scale it up a lot. So let's just try and edit this. So if I scale it up pixelated 
Alright, let's just get the aspect ratio down. Um, if I scale it up a bit like that. And then we'll copy some more squares in. Just to replace that. I almost feel like we need layers here. Then, I guess we could sort of make like a floor body type look. If I just sort of do this. You'll see what I'm sort of getting at pretty soon. And I like this color as well, so I'll just... So, there we go. Just a simple, basic sort of floorboard type deal. Um, what does that look like? That was kind of nice, actually. Kind of like that. There we go. So that's like a nice looking floor, I guess. Um, save that. Okay, so we'll save it in sheets, obviously, and we'll save it. We'll call this like a spawn level or something. Spawn level tiles, I guess. And that'll just contain the tiles for our spawn level. So if we go over here, and yeah, I guess these episodes are going to be kind of long, aren't they? But um, if we go over here into our sprite sheet class, which is where we're in, which is awesome. So we'll, call, we'll go public static sprite sheet, and we'll call this one spawn level um, and let's see so it'll be equal to new sprite sheet and we'll just go textures sheets spawn level dot png and the size of it right the size is well it's 48 so that's it just like that Awesome. So now we'll go into tile.java and, oh, actually, sorry, sprite.java, which is, oh, it's open right here. Um, and we'll just, I guess we'll get on the play. I, I, I almost want to, like, sort of group this, but obviously we can't do that. But it'd be, it would still be pretty cool if we could group it like that, but we can't because they're static. Um, but let's just, over here, we'll put, like, the spawn level sprites here. Alright, so spawn level sprites here um, and I guess we'll make a player sprites here awesome nice and organized see just like I like it um, just the way I like it so let's public static sprite so they'll have like the spawn prefix so spawn grass equals new sprite and remember that's zero zero as well. But the again the difference here and the size is sixteen. The difference here is that it's going to be sprite sheet dot instead of being sprite sheet dot tiles, it's going to be sprite sheet dot spawn level. So that's very important that you don't forget that. So we've got we've basically used up six textures here. So I'm just going to copy that a few times and we'll go. So spawn grass. What else do we have? Um, that looks like a hedge. So I'm just going to call it hedge. Then we've got water. Then we've got wall one, wall two, and floor. All right? And I guess we'll just quickly change hedge to. So that's one across. That's two across. That's one. And then the rest are. Oh no, actually, one of them's two down. I think that's wall. So I think. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, awesome. So now that we've got a bunch of these kind of sprites, we're also going to go into tile.java, and this is where I you know, also like to be organized. So in tile, we've got a bunch of tiles, because tiles will sort of be specific to different things. Um, we can right-click, hit new uh, folder, and I'm just going to make a new folder called spawn level. All right, and then in here, we're going to have all of our different classes, such as, for example, the... So these are all tile classes, obviously. But the spawn level is going to have a tile called grass tile, for example. But just in case, we'll probably want to call it spawn 
spawn grass tile, right? Um, and again, that's going to extend tile, and tile will have to be imported, imported from the other thing, and obviously it's going to have to inherit a constructor, as usual, and it's also going to render the tile thing. Um, this is going to be a freaking long, long episode as well, isn't it? But if we go to like the grass tile, we can just copy and paste that. And I should really move that render method up the hierarchy, but I might do that next episode or something. Um, so that'll be the spawn grass tile. And we're going to finish all the other ones in the next episode of Game Programming. So I hope you liked this video, guys. Let me know if you guys want to see like the graphical work and all of that stuff um, done in the videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Later. Thank you.